Welcome everyone to another review. I'm your host, Maddox Collector, AKA the guy that does one review and disappears. Actually, no, sometimes I do two or three. But yeah, always disappear. This year is gonna be different. We have to focus, not just me, but all of us. 2020 was shitty, 2021 has to be better. So I promise at least four. No, I'm joking, joking. I'll do a lot more. Anyway, this year I wanna start off the year different. Usually I do a Marvel character, one fourth scale review, but I wanna start off the year by doing a DC character, one third scale. And it's an amazing piece, so without further ado, let's jump right into the review. So this is the statue that we are doing a review of. It's none other than Arthur Fleck from the movie The Joker, played by Joaquin Phoenix. And this statue was produced by JND Studios. So before we jump on the review, let's talk about JND Studios. JND Studio is a Korean collectible company that was created right in the midst of all this craziness in 2020. And their main goal is to provide us collector with a hyper realistic statue from our favorite movies. And they started off by the statue that you have behind me, which is Arthur Flack from the movie The Joker. What I like about JND is a couple things. One is the owner. The owner himself is a collector, and that's a major plus. You as an owner and as a collector, you know exactly what your fans want because you're a collector yourself, so you're gonna go above and beyond to provide it for them. Two, what I like is the fact that they partner up with Kojun. For those that don't know who Kojun is, he is behind all these amazing head sculpts that Hot Toys have done in the past. Very realistic, very accurate. He is one of the most talented people on this planet. So for him to be a partner, that's a major plus. When the artist has vested interest in the company, he's going to go above and beyond to make sure that all these sculpts are top notch and very accurate. To top it off, they have a great team behind these two guys to push this collectible to another level. As I mentioned previously, this is Arthur Fleck from the movie The Joker, played by Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin did an amazing job portraying the character. So if you haven't watched the movie, do yourself a service, stop this review, go watch the movie and come back. You will have a lot more appreciation for the statue. In addition, I didn't get to do an unboxing because guess what? When this statue came through the door, I was too excited and I just opened it. But lucky for you, JND did a review and an unboxing for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link in the description below. All you have to do is click on it, watch it, and you can see the amazing packaging that JND has provided for us. While you're down there, click on the subscribe button, like this video, and hit the notification button because guess what? We're almost close to 60,000 subscribers, and I'm gonna do a major giveaway, and you definitely wanna be part of it. Now let's get back to this. The statue itself is a museum pose, and it's standing tall. From the bottom of his shoe to the top of his head, he's 24 inches. If you add the base, it's 27 inches. The base is simple, square, it's around 12 inches by 12 inches. So make sure you have enough room to display him, because he's a little bit tall. The edition size on this piece is 350 worldwide and it's sold out. But you still might get lucky and find one in the aftermarket or in some retailer that might have one or two hidden. The price point for this piece is around 2400 to 2500 shipped to your door. Yes, it's a hefty price point, but when you have this type of quality and the material they included to make the statue, you will understand why. The first material that you see that JND used is applied on the base, the shoes, and the body of the figure, which is resin. Then you have the material, and that's the socks, the shoelaces, the pants, the jacket, the sweater, and the shirt, which is cut and sew. The third one is the paper bag. And then you move on to the silicone, which is pretty freaky. I never owned one before that is made out of silicone. I'll tell you a story about it. But anyway, so you have the hands are silicone, and you have the face that is silicone. On top of it, now you have the die-cast metal gun and you have the die-cast 
bullet. After that, you have the rude hair, and finally, you have the glass eye. The pose, just like all the current statues made by JND, is a museum pose. And from my understanding, they're going down that ride for the foreseeable future. And I like it. It really represents the character in a very simplistic form, straight out of the movie. And I like how simple the base is. It doesn't take away from the character himself. What JND did not tell us in their reviews is that the gun is displayable, not just the back. Luckily, the hand is made out of silicone that is bendable, so all you have to do is put the index on top of the trigger and put the rest of the gun in his palm of the hand and you'll be able to display. Very cool feature, something different than having it in the, in the back. Now remember what I told you, I'm gonna tell you about a story? Well, here's the story. I have this statue on a pedestal and every time somebody comes through the door, it attracts them. So they come next to it and from all the statues I've seen in my collection, they know that they're hard, they're made out of resin, Yes, they see clothes on it, but for the most part, it's untouched, unbendable, unmovable. But for this one, they expected the same thing. So what I do is I tell them, come close. And they come close. And I end up by doing like this. Beep, 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 beep. And they start fucking cracking out. And it's funny because they didn't expect it. They don't think the statue moves. And that's when I show them that the statue actually, it's very bendable. Look at this. Pretty creepy. I like it. The face moves, chin, nose, everything. It's pretty cool. And the same thing with the hand. So that's something that I never experienced in my statues as well. I've never had silicone. So it's something new, something cool, and something that I'm proud to show to my friends and family. Not only the silicone is cool, but I really like is a rooted hair. People are very scared of touching the hair and display it, but you don't have to be. You can touch it, play around with it, and display it as you see fit or as you see that is accurate to the movie. When JND shipped this, the head was covered, as you're gonna see in the video. So it wasn't a lot of movement, but you still have to touch it up to make it look to what you think is best. However, the coolest thing about this piece is definitely the glass eyes. It's kind of freaky, but I like it. It's something that I never had before. Right? Not just silicone, not just rooted hair, but glass eyes takes it one step above than what I ever had before. And I like that. Now let's talk about the material. First of all, very accurate to the movie. And second, top quality product. And that's very important. You have the two, accuracy and quality. Whether it's the pants material that are very thin. Second, you have the jacket with a zipper and you have all the stitching, all the details in the suit, whether it's the sweater with the button or the undershirt. All of them are top of the line quality and I'm very impressed with the product. Now, one of the details that people always look at and they think it's material, but it's not, it's the shoes. The shoes look like they're leather because of one, the scalp, and two, the paint application. You almost wanna touch it just to make sure it's not leather. JND with this product wants to give us exactly what we saw in the movie. Joker, Arthur Fleck, has a signature card and JND included that. And that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna read it to you. So on one side, it says, forgive my laughter, I have a condition. More on the back. And on the other side, it says, it's a medical condition causing sudden, frequent, and uncontrollable laughter that doesn't match how you feel. It can happen in people with a brain injury or certain neurological condition. Thank you. And finally, kindly return this card. So this card is very iconic in the movie. So having JND adding it, and you can put it right here on the side of the jacket is pretty cool. And another detail, I think I mentioned it, but briefly, they added these little bullets, which is cool. So what you can do is you can literally take them out and display them on the base like this or put them in the back as well. So these are small details that they added to make the statue even you know, more accurate to what the movie is about. I can go on and on and talk about this statue, but I feel this is one of those statues that pictures speak for themselves a lot more than I can do. So for more pictures, just go on my Instagram. You can see all the pictures that I have of this character, of this statue. This piece is definitely um, a showstopper. I asked JND, why did you choose 
this character to do first. And they said, like, we want to showcase our talent. Usually, when you put a makeup on, you can hide certain imperfection. But when you don't have any makeup, and when you want to present the character to the accuracy of who the actor is and the likeness of him, you have to go above and beyond and make sure that, one, the sculpt is perfect, two, the paint application is great, and three, the rest of the production, whether it's the clothes, the hair, and even the base, the shoes, the resin, everything is top of the line. And I believe that they did that. We are so lucky that we are in a, in a time where our companies are competing for our money. So they are going above and beyond always to provide the top of the quality line. Because anything less doesn't cut it anymore. We need the best and these companies are for sure giving us the best. And one of them, a new company that is making its mark is JND. I'm definitely excited about Wonder Woman and I'm even more excited about Joker the Dark Knight. I mean, imagine Joker the Dark Knight in his most iconic pose. So that's gonna be something definitely exciting to get. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. I know I always say I'll see you guys soon, but I'm definitely gonna see you guys soon. Please subscribe. Don't forget, we're almost at 60. There's gonna be a big giveaway. So subscribe, like, hit the notification button. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me either on my Facebook, you can always reach me on my Instagram. And whenever I have a chance, I'll reach out to you guys.